Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I got six of these magnets now instead of four, instead of two. Now, I'm looking here at the DC amperage. Ignore the minus sign, just look at the number. 0 0.01, 0 0.03, 0 0.02 watts. I have it at the 20 amp setting, so these 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.01, they stand for amps. So I'm using about 10 milliamps, 20 milliamps, okay, whatever. All right, let's check this out. If I look at the AC amperage, it's 1.2, 1.6, 1.2. I mean, look at that. It's almost 100 times more AC current than DC current. All right? Over, almost 100 times more. D okay? But what am I using as power? I'm using these batteries. So my draining of the batteries must correspond to the DC current. But look at these AC current. It's 2 point, all right, 1.8, look at this, it's huge, 1.8, 2.0, 2.3, it's ridiculous, um, and look, I have much more torque now, let's see if I hold this, it barely stops, now, it's kind of hard for you to see how hard this thing is, but what about if I put this leash on here, and then I hold it like this. And here you can sort of feel how it's, how strong it is. And here, can you hear it? Um, this is the only way you can probably feel how heavy this is, or whatever. And <coughs> as you can see, yeah, we have 16, Double A batteries. You're connected in series. So I'm at the 20 volts. So I checked, and it should show that once I show that to you. But but the highest it could be is 24. So it's right now. Let's pull out this red plug. We'll put it over here. We're gonna uh, before we put it over here, we're gonna switch it to uh, this 1,000 volt setting so we can see the volts. All right. Now pull this out. Go here. Oh, I'm going to move this around. Go here. Alright. So, immediately, since it was already touching, we see 20 volts. As I said, 20 volts. Alright. And you can just use your brain. Just no, if you're, if you're pulling one, uh, 0.01 DC amps, it's going to take a long time to drain all of these batteries. And a long time for the voltage to drop. <laughs> So let's pull this out, let's get our tandem cell ourselves again and put this right here. Okay, it start immediately because it needs a little help. But there we go. Okay, we're looking at AC amperage again. Now, you see it's a little bit lower than earlier because look how it's, well, if you look closely, it's kind of off. Um, it's bouncing around. Let's get a close-up look at this. Wow, now we can see the wire, actually. Um, see, that's red wires on the top. 40 conductor coil. 40 conductors. Let's focus it. Hopefully we can see it. Um, and the red wire is the one that goes to this one. Red wire is going backwards to the circuit. Backwards to the circuit. Now it goes there, because it went there, there. I do all this mess over here. This is how I connect the ribbon cable in series, and the, the conductors in series. So I have a nice, smooth coil, but I have a, oh God, annoying to make connection in series. Yeah, I mean, connecting 40 conductors in series, I mean, it's not that hard. But it takes a long time, and sometimes if you don't put it right, it pops out and you have to twist it again. And, let's see. Hmm. So, again, here's the um, AC amperage. Now, DC amperage. What's this? Okay, now it kind of went up. So, <clears throat> the efficiency of our motor 
how it went down just for a moment. But as yes, you can see, let's see. Um, it was over here, and I'm going to move it over here. Let's see what happens. All right. Okay, the efficiency of our motor went up again because I fixed this. And let's see the uh, AC amperage. It went up again. That was 1.2. Well, not, not as high as it was earlier. Okay, there maybe it's going. Let's see if we can make it even more efficient. Let's see. All these magnets are not well aligned. Let's see. Let's see if we do this. Hope that's faster. Oh wow! Look at that. Now made it go up again. See, all, all of this is very dependent on how I set this up. This is very, actually very inefficient. Very inefficient. Um, in terms of like it, it, it's potential. It could be much more efficient simply by having me getting a better axle. Which I, I don't know, man. I mean, I've been to Walmart. I've been to all sorts of places. They never. I don't know, they just, they just don't sell the basic rod or something. I don't know, I'll just have to look harder next time. Um, look at that, AC amperage. But look how fast I'm draining the batteries, or how slow rather. The DC amperage on the 20 amp setting only showing uh, 0 .00 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 amps. Amazing, isn't it? And I'm moving this probably more than one pound magnet. It has a diameter. Of, well, actually, it's this stack of magnets, okay? You got one inch by here, two inches by here. Each magnet is half an inch. So one inch, two inch, three inch. So you got three inches here, one inch is there, and two inches here. So you got a three to one ratio. Alright? Not that it's that important. We're just gonna say that it has a, it has six cubic inches of magnets. Okay. Um, well, my hand's bigger than that, but still, compare it to this light bulb. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to block, <laughs> but uh, it could be much more efficient than this. I mean, I'm using 0.2 watts, spending this about um, eight times 60 RPM. Um, which is about, it's not that fast, but we're, again, we're using only 0.2 watts, 0.2, because remember we measured it to be 20 volts, if you, if you don't remember, um, we're going to show again, just, just for fun, okay, I'm going to pull it here, around, check this out, 20 volts, as like I said before, 16 batteries, and remember, this is a 4,000 foot cable, ribbon cable, 40 conductors, 100 feet for the whole strip, but it's just 40 conductors, so 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet. And why not? Why not hell not? We can just measure the ohms right now. We're going to measure the ohms, because I haven't done this before. Um, I have to, um, let's see. Hold it still. Hmm. How, how big are the ohms? Okay. Um. <laughs> let's show it right now. Um. Oh, Lord. I hold it like. I just hold it like this. Let me just try to get some back to it. Okay. I'm touching it with my finger. And then my other finger is touching the rod. Okay, you see that? Okay, that's kind of hard to um, try to connect it again. Go wherever. Okay, that's how, that's how different this coil is.